swallowed us alive in their furious anger against us. Then the flood would have carried us away. The water would have covered us. The raging torrent would have drowned us. Let us thank the Lord who has not let our enemies destroy us. We have escaped like bird from water's trap. And we are free. Our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. Um, many people, you did, uh, I remember I once spoke with a lady, she said um, that the dead did not attack her. There's no way the, the evil one can attack her because she's not fighting the devil and she's, she, whenever she goes to church, they are praying, they are casting out demons, she just sits and quiet. She won't pray, no, no. she casts the demons and she goes back home, those demons come after her. So I know that whether you pray or you don't pray, the demons will still come after you. The demons find everybody, whether you're praying or you are not praying. And she still asked me that, why would the enemy be furious at her if she's not attacking the enemy? And I told her every child is a child of God. <laughs> Even if you're not fighting the enemy, the enemy is still going to fight you back. There are, there are evil spirits all over the place. It makes me remember the dream I once had, which I shared with us. Where I said I was on the street and I saw people coming from the street and selling. And from a distance, you see them coming to see no, they are, they, they are normal humans. But when they came closer, I discovered that they were spirits. They were evil spirit in the form of some frightful animals selling those those items and people were buying them and eating. So I told her there's just no way that I'd escape the devil fighting us. The devil is everywhere, he fights us every day, every minute, and whatsoever time. Mm. Even if the devil don't fight you directly, like maybe from what you're doing or your normal life, there are furious spirit, ancestral spirits all over the place. There is no no family, let's just say there's no family that doesn't have spirits that are fighting and trying to destroy lives. Let me let me not even say only African families because every family comes from uh, have uh, ancestors. We all have ancestors. Correct. And there are so, so many families that and there are so many families that had uh, in the past had made covenant with uh, with with, with the, the evil one. So many covenants which permitted them, they were like pouring libations, they pour the uh, uh, blood of animals, they pour palm wine, they pour wine, they bring color, and so on and so on. So they did all of that. By doing all of that, they entered into covenants with the evil one. And the promise they usually make there is that my, my generation will serve you, they will serve you for all the days of their lives. But what happens after that? Maybe after your grandfather, your grandmother, and so ever, even your father was have passed away. We, the generation that comes after that, do not stand. We do not follow what they have promised those ancestors, those evil spirits. We do not worship them anymore. So what happens? They become so furious. They become so angry, and they say, "This, this uh, 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 they are they, they, your ancestor had already promised that you guys were going to worship me to the end, but you are not doing it." So what do they do? They start releasing curses. They release so many unhealthy things in the lives in our in, in our lives that fight off. That maybe you'll be going to church and you keep seeing one occurrence in the family repeating itself. You see in one family, you will just be untimely death. People are just dying. A certain group of people, when they people of the event, they don't attain a certain age. When they attain that age, they die. They just die mysteriously. You see in another family, it is poverty. No spirit sponsor poverty. You see, in the family, there nobody has anything. That's they, they are nothing. They, 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 they haven't achieved anything in their lives. No house, no wife, no husband. Everything in their lives are just stagnant. That's what those spirits sponsor in the lives of children. You go into another family, you see hatred. They just hate each other. They fight each other. Siblings fighting each other. Yes. They are always at long They are fighting. You don't even know why they are fighting, but they are fighting. You go into another family, no marriages. No one is married. At the age of marriage, and they rather like be having kids at home. They will just be having children in their father's house. No marriage, nothing. All those things. Most of them are generational curses. 
that they are, they are still working against against the children. We go into another family, you see everyone is just drinking anyhow. Have you ever seen a success a successful drunk before? Never. Mm. Alcohol gets in there. You just any little thing you have, you just take it. You go and take one man, you drink, you drink, you drink away your destiny. You drink and you misplace the remaining part of the money that you have. You go into another family, sicknesses. You go into families today, you see cancer, you see diabetes. So at times when I go to the hospital, I usually uh, the first time I went for checkup, uh, the doctors were asking me, um, uh, is there any disease that is rampant in the family, like uh, genetic something? Mm-hmm. I was like, no, I don't have any genetic disease because it's from there that they will start drawing the analysis and say that okay, if your father had, if your father had uh, uh, asthma, if your father had hypertension, if your father, had, if your mother died of this or that. Uh, effectively, maybe you are going to die of it. So, whenever I go, I usually ask myself that, but why? Where did the, all these things come from? They say it's genetic, it's from your, your father, your great grandfather, it's from your mother's house, from your father's house. How did those things uh, come about? How did they, first of all, come about to affect our ancestors before getting to us? So, I usually, we say, I would say, all these things are just spiritual. Oh, yes. What does the Bible, the Bible say? What if the Lord was not our ancestors? We are alive today, it's just God because uh, there are many things we've gone through in life, situations that we went through, that we knew, we thought that we would not make it, we would die maybe one point or the other. There were sicknesses. I remember there was a time I was even I was sick. That time my parents were still alive. I was so 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 sick. He said I had five pain. I couldn't I was not feeling myself. At the time when I started this man, I would just collapse and die. I was so so pale and finished. They were giving me blood tablets all the time to take. I didn't really know what was going on. At times, you just, in fact, I knew, I just, in my in my mind, I knew maybe I won't, I won't survive. One day, I'll just fall and die. But what happened? God saved me. God saved me. And I'm sure the situation that each and every one of us have gone through, that is not of God, yes. will be where we are, will not be alive where we are today. There are so many instances, so many instances, but God will be there for us. He preserved us, He protected us. All the traps that they can Amen. So that's what I 
that's what a little I had to share.